What's going on guys, it's Dude Crypto, and today I got a cool video for us. I got a Spark Lab behind the scenes exclusive where we're gonna go through looking at how the, ma the back end works for Spark Lab. And we're gonna see how the portfolio tracker works, how the multi-sell works, and then also of course how the rug protector works. The first thing you'll do when you come on here is as soon as you come to the website, it will ask you to connect your wallet. Um, one thing to note, you are not connecting your wallet to Spark Lab, you're actually connecting your wallet to the pancake swap router. Same thing that if you were to like, say, go to PooCoin. When you go to PooCoin, you connect your wallet and you, you're connecting to the pancake swap router, right? So that you can buy and sell your, your tokens there. Well, the same thing is happening with Spark Labs. Please note, it does take a little bit of time for everything to load. All right, so first thing first, we're in, we just got into the Spark Lab portfolio tracker. And as you can see, I am freaking loaded. Well, it's not exactly true. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing a bunch of dust attacks, right? So these where these people just send you weird random tokens for the hope that you're gonna go to linkp.io. Well, I'm not gonna go to linkp.io, but I am gonna remove them. So that's what you might have to do. That's what you will have to do when you first come in here just to get your, your balance and ledger clean. So you just hide the ones you'll go through and look at the ones that aren't real. Like this swap seven, this TU seven, not real, not real. All right, so it looks like now everything that's left is legitimate. There is one thing to note that some of these tokens actually do have a value, but for some reason that they're not showing up, talk to the team, they are working on it, should be something that's rectified soon. But for the most, you know, this is V1 and this is, uh, there is a working product for some of these tokens, right? So it is working, of course, for, you know, we are seeing the Spark Lab balance, we're seeing um, uh, inf uh, Monster Infinite balance, so it is working. So let's first take a look at the sell token functionality, right? So let's say we wanted to sell multiple tokens, right? Let's say Elon, tweets out and Elon tweets out that crypto is dead, which isn't true. But if you did say that and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna sell multiple positions right now all at once so that I don't have to worry about um, the downside of that tweet. So you would just click boom, 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 boom. You're never gonna sell your Spark Lab, right? So you then you would say confirm. Every time you hit confirm, it will it's for each individual token. You have to approve each individual token. I'm actually not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna reject, but that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to approve each individual one. All right, so we're not doing that. I'm canceling my cells, so we're not doing that, but that's how you would do it. That's the functionality that you would do. Now let's say you wanted to protect a token, right? So let's say you'd, you wanted to be able to sleep on what you think is a pretty good token, um, but maybe you're concerned about it, right? You don't wanna, you don't wanna risk it. So what you would do is you would hit protect token. And so for example, we're gonna protect Mazda infinite token from being rug pulled, right? And it says, disclaimer, we do not guarantee 100% success ratio on protecting your tokens. We will, however, lower your risk of losing money due to a rug pull. Scammers are extremely creative when it comes to stealing. Always make sure to do your own research before you, you buy a coin. The rug protector is free, but sending your triggers to the vault might trigger transaction fees coded in the tokens contract. See below. Token transaction tax may not always be accurate, 0%. So, and then it says the vault setup fee is 0.3 BNB. So I say, okay, or 0.03 BNB, big difference. So I'm just gonna walk you through what this looks like. So we're gonna confirm it. And here I am confirming that I'm putting them into the vault. So we're setting up the vault. So now we're gonna deposit the tokens. Now, what you do when you deposit the tokens, you are giving them the ability to sell your tokens, right? So you're approving them to sell your tokens. So I'm only being charged a small fee. I'm not being charged $3,163. That's the value of the token. I'm just being charged a small fee uh, from Spark Labs to give me the opportunity or give them the opportunity to sell these if liquidity gets pulled. So I'm gonna say confirm. And there is a little bit of a delay. It does take a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of time for these to set in the system. Uh, now we're good. Now I gotta confirm the BNB or confirm and deposit BNB. So the fee that I'm being charged is 0 0.025 BNB. So I'm gonna say yes, confirm. All right, then that went through and hit confirm. This is the final transaction and a vault, the vault is now approved. All right, so now it says done. The vault is approved, everything is good to go. There is one thing, you do have to push escape and then refresh the page in order to have this show. So right now you see it says protect token, but if I refresh the page, it will now show me that they are protected. All right, so now you can see that the tokens are protected. Unfortunately, it does not look like it, the other tokens were hidden 
uh, the ones that I had removed before, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Now, one thing to note, you I am not able to sell these tokens while they're in the protected mode, right? So they're being protected. That means that Spark Lab is ready to sell them for me if the liquidity gets pulled. If liquidity doesn't get pulled, then they just stay there. They're still my asset, but they're just there. So I'll have to, um, if I decide I wanna sell, I have to turn off the protection, which will give me back the, the 0.025 BNB fee. So it'll go back into my wallet. I'll just pay the transaction fees and then I and then can do whatever I want. I can sell my tokens or keep them. So if you wanna turn off the protection, what you do is you just click the button and you say withdraw tokens and you say confirm. Now I'm gonna withdraw my BNB. So it's taking a little bit of time here. So what you have to do is refresh the page. And now you can see that my tokens are not being protected any longer and I can sell them at my will on my own individually, right? So, or I could sell them here by clicking sell tokens. So if I wanted to do that, I can do it right here as well. So that's a quick overview of Spark Labs portfolio tracker, the rug protector, and the multi-sell function where you can sell multiple tokens at once. Thanks for watching the video. Check out Spark Lab app. It's really cool. I think you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. And let me know what you think about it in the comments below.